Reading, saving, and then later emulating an RFID card with the Flipper Zero is pretty handy. But what if you want a physical copy of that target card as well? Hello everyone, what I have for you today is a tutorial on using T5577 tags to clone a large percentage of low frequency tags you might encounter using the Flipper Zero. These 125kHz tags are absolutely essential if you're just getting into RFID cloning or hacking. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing I think I should mention when it comes to cloning with these T5577 tags is that when you order them, they will arrive blank and that's whether they're the, the keychain style that you see here or the actual card format, they will show up with no data written to them. And when there's no data written to them, the Flipper Zero cannot read them. Should be pretty self-explanatory, but I've seen enough comments online to know that I really need to mention this. The tags aren't broken. Your flipper is not broken. It's like reading a, a blank piece of paper. You know, you can see the paper. You know the paper is there, but there's nothing written on it. So how can you read it, right? Well, it's the same with the flipper in these tags. They'll show up. But nothing will happen they need data written to them so let's go ahead and do just that so here we have two different tags this is a paradox tag as well as a HID prox card 2 and we're gonna clone both of these using the flipper zero and our handy little t5577 tag so both of these are low frequency 125 kilohertz and they're both different formats. We're gonna go ahead and read the paradox first. See the data there. And then we're going to hit right and place the T5577 directly behind the flipper. We're gonna remove it, back out, and we're gonna read the the cloning tag just to see that the data is the same and it looks good so this tag has been successfully cloned but you know maybe we change our mind maybe we don't want to clone that tag anymore maybe we want to clone this prox card too right go ahead back out hit read again I'm gonna read the prox card these tags are rewritable so, go ahead and hit right. Remember to back out. And read the tag just to confirm the data has been written. And we're good to go. So the last thing I want to cover here with these T5577s is actually manually adding tags to them. Uh, we'll go ahead and use, uh, yeah, we'll go with the carry. So you don't even need uh, a card to clone onto these. You can actually just manually create cards with them too, which is pretty handy. So we have this carry tag. Just waiting on it to save. Gonna go ahead and write. So, very, very handy tags. Like I said at the start of the video, these are absolutely essential if you're getting into RFID hacking or cloning with the Flipper Zero. That should just about cover it. Uh, if you have any questions about the content of this video, or if you have any requests for Flipper Zero, RFID, or NFC content, please let me know in the comments section below. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.